Hello, hello. Welcome back to Curls by Charlene. Today, I'm going to show you how you do easy knotless box braids from this freshly washed hair to this fro of mine. Tangle free is best for making sections and parting. So this is before I start the process. Uh, here goes to a few hours of plaiting this beautiful big hair. Parting is key, guys. So I split the hair into three big sections. Front, middle and back. There you see the front, the middle and the back. The front has two sections already and then I will split the front side half of it um, into two sections again and then into three. I've already detangled so as you can see the hair is free of knots ready to go. I'm using synthetic hair extensions this beautiful color like blue and green who would have thought right <laughs> synthetic hair extensions I did a video on how you clean it before you put it into your hair so you want to watch that video first before you decide to put this in your hair once you've got all your sections down as desired you are gonna want to get yourself a good edge control because you need to lay those edges with some kind of edge control so it can stay down stay in place and you know last as long as possible I'm using the Aunt Jackie's flaxseed recipes tame my edges called the smoothing gel I have added it to each side the front back left right each side because I'm gonna want to flip that um, braid up down wherever I feel like it. I'm also using jojoba oil. As I plait, wherever the hair's dry, I'm gonna add that oil because it's a protective hairstyle. We want the hair to be as nourished and moisturized as possible. So keep it hydrated, you know? I've parted the hair into three and I'm plaiting right over left. At least once or twice before I add the hair so you don't get that knot because we want knotless box braids you know and there's the hair I'm doing this in real time I haven't sped up this part of the video at all so you can see and appreciate exactly how long this takes you need to have a lot of patience and I started right over left again. I added the hair to the ends, so the two ends, and then I'll add another piece of hair. So overall, I add two pieces of hair. I must say, if this is the first time you're doing this, it does feel very fiddly. Um, but if you feel it, if you're used to braiding, you'll know, ah, that feels right it feels like I'm doing a proper braid just be patient with yourself try it a few times honestly the first few I did this was the second one on my own hair I've never done it on myself before so this was a quite a task but you know what after a while I was like ah I've got this so just be patient with yourself you'll get it don't get frustrated it takes a while but it looks great at the end I promise you it's worth it I'm sure I used to do this kind of thing on my dolls when I was much younger it also depends on how big you want your braids I wanted mine quite thick um, but not massive so it all depends how much hair you want to add I did split the one pack into eight sections and then each of those eight sections into three pieces of hair to add as you go. Um, but as I said, I only added two to each one. So you end up having loads of hair everywhere 
but it's okay it does work out I thought I would show you once again just how I did it split it into three as I said earlier start right over left over right over left over and then I add the hair and the rest is history you can do this um, the hair came in six sections so I actually only used three three of the, the packs which I was surprised I thought I was gonna end up using the whole <laughs> six of them but I guess I didn't need that much when I was drying my hair from the freshly washed to the fro I did use Maui moisture vanilla bean butter the hair butter this is because this is a protective hairstyle so my hair needs to be nourished be nice and moisturized for this hairstyle to stay in place for a while and for my hair to be you know moisturized for as long as possible so I did use that the third plait looks so much neater than the first two and if you're not happy with how the first two turned out you can always go back and redo them you know but get used to it first and then you're like ah this looks so much better I'm happy with this result now regular box braids can have a lot of tension compared to knotless box braids that's why I decided to do knotless box braids and it's so much better I feel it lasts me much longer as well the regular box braids have the knot you know and it tends to slide down um, but those are the ones that I feel cause the problem because when it starts sliding down you start loosening the plait and it doesn't look as nice so you can pull this from side to side into a ponytail straight away after I've done all these I can do any hairstyle you know I don't have to wait like a week whereas regular box braids they say you should wait a week before you tie it up because of the tension on the roots and that can be a problem really you don't want so much tension on your roots that's how you end up pulling the hair out and having hair loss it just it ain't right that's why I feel these are so much better knotless box braids no tension on the roots you can just do what you like straight away and not worry about all that fuss just to give you an estimate of how long this took me to plait my whole head well I started around 1 p.m. Uh, and I braided until about 420 and I only finished the front part of my hair so this part took three and a half hours and there you have it that's the end result but I still had to do the middle part and the back to do so that <laughs> evening I went back for another one and a half hours to do seven braids so I got quicker as I did it you know whereas the front part there were quite a few braids there but that took me three hours 20 minutes then the next morning I did another 40 minutes so I did it in in sections it was just too much for me pregnant me doing all my hair myself it was really silly my mother was like why didn't you tell me to come and help you you know anyway and then that afternoon I did it from 420 to 620 and then I did another half hour so this is a very long process it takes time all in all this took me eight hours and ten minutes yeah I see why people charge loads of money to get your hair braided like the hairdressers the labor that goes into this a hey, big ups they deserve that money I can see why it I remember thinking oh 
this is a process let's hope it lasts me long I did keep these braids in for almost three weeks so I lasted almost three weeks you know the drill you gotta dip the ends in hot water you know to seal in the plaits and then pour the foam on your scalp to keep it all in place you know how it goes I'm sure you know how to do that I'm not gonna show you in the video I actually just didn't do that I was so tired and I'm so heavily pregnant I just thought you know what see how long it lasts without everything so if I had actually done it how I should have done it it would have lasted longer so there's a tip do the full process <laughs> leave your tips below I'd love to know how you keep your braids in for so long do you wash them do you not wash them do you wash and keep it in for longer I mean what is the process that you do we all love to learn from each other so let's help each other I'd love to know what your tips are I absolutely loved this protective hairstyle because I didn't wash my hair for almost three weeks I didn't do anything I didn't redo I think I did redo sorry one or two plaits but that was it and the whole time was stress free I was so happy <laughs> to have a break the only thing I will you know complain about a little bit is the first few days I had a bit of a headache and I think that's because I haven't done this before um, well I haven't had hair extensions and the weight of the hair on my head and the scalp I just wasn't used to that and so I did feel headachey a bit I don't think I did it too tight usually people say oh if you do it too tight it you know you get a headache but I really think it was just the weight and I wasn't used to having this kind of tension on my scalp so that's the only thing but after that it was fine absolutely fine thanks for watching curls by Charlene you've come to the end of my video please like and subscribe to my channel I mean why haven't you if you haven't already leave a comment tell me your tips and tricks i'd love to know all the ins and outs of braiding i really do love the braids i just wish that i could have kept it in even longer <laughs> but yeah thanks for listening and getting this far and i'll see you next time